Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Asian language class. In today's video, we are going to be doing the Asian names and their meanings. Hi everyone. Uh, Auntie Mabel is back to the Asian language class. And I will first of all apologize for being absent for a few weeks, I guess. I'm just going to, I'm going to be using the names that were su suggested by my subscribers. In the last video, I did ask for, uh, my, for all of you in this community, in this family, to suggest some names and if possible their meanings. So three people actually suggested names. And um, one of them is a Fosa, who is always, who has been my very uh, committed subscriber for a very long time now. So I'll be using a Fosa's three names. And I will also be using uh, another subscriber's name, who is actually my younger sister. Thanks, Jane. Jane Aloja, she really, really did a lot. She gave so many names on the, in, in that comment section. So I'm going to be using some of her names. The reason why I feel I should call out those names because when some people will read it, they might not even be quite sure how it's being pronounced. And uh, you will bear with me. I'm going to be looking at my laptop, obviously. I'll be saying Efosa's first name, which is actually her name, which is Efosa. And uh, it means God's worth. And some part of Esa that I come from, we will say Efose. So because we call Ose. Why some Esa people say Osa? So, uh, Ephosa or Ephese, Ephese means the same thing, which is God's words, which if you actually want to say the word, it's easy, Efe or Se. But when you say them together, it's Ephese. So, and that's a popular name I know very well. Uh, so, it's one of my sister Jane's sister-in-law's name. So, it's a very popular name for us in our family. Uh, then, the other name which is very popular in Esa and Swear is Itoha. And this is another name that is very common in the Itoha. Itoha means mercy. Then the third name that Ephosa gave in the comment section was Aitwa Yemwagmo. So um, it means slow and steady in life, but literally it means you can't really hasten the events of life we'll go through the list of names now that were given by my sister jane jane thanks again and for always supporting me behind the scene and for providing this um, long list of names and for leaving me comments sometimes um the first group of names she gave was the very first one was oseva oseva hieme which means god didn't forsake me the second one which is similar is which means God didn't allow people to laugh at me or to mock me. Those two names are give, can be given in the same similar circumstances as the first one of Aitwa uh, Jemwagmo. And sometimes some of these names can be very, can be, you can mostly hear short, the short, the short version of them. Like Aitwa Jemwagmo, you always hear most people be called Aitwa Je. And uh, um, the other ver version is most of the Ose Raja Jeme, you always hear people be called Ose, you know, so that's why you hear a lot of Esan names, people who have been called in sh uh, either Oses, Osa, or Ose, Ose, you know, Oses, or uh, something like that, or uh, yeah, so I hope I make sense there. Um, then another one here is Ihinose which means I chose good destiny. And the he is featuring in that name again. Then we have the Irenos, Irenose. Uh, that means I came well. Another one is Onolunose. It means um, the person who does well. This is usually given when someone has really supported you through a very difficult or try, trying time. So then... Uh, then the first, next few names we have Omo in them. First one is I'm a be no more, which is common in this side. It means something is greater than the greater than child. Uh, another one is um, Omo Nefe, which means child is greater than wealth. And Omo Zuwa means child brings wealth. 
Another one is Omozusi. It means child brings unending fame. Usi, usi means fame. And you can see that some of Esa names are very, generally, I think Nigerian African culture will give this high esteem to having a child in the family. That is why it can, I think it can be taken too far sometimes. That's why when a couple is not able to have a child, it's almost like a do or die thing. You know, it can be very, uh, very disheartening. Yeah. <clears throat> Then the next few names are slightly different. Um, uh, Akohame means uh, we should prosper together. I think it's a great thing in family that people really want to that to get together this community spirit, family being united. So sometimes people will give this kind of name when there is a dispute within siblings or family unit. So the probably the the parent, the grandparent, if for example there's uh, rivalry or dispute even between the couple when they have the child or if any kind of dispute around the child's birth, so the family, someone will actually give this name Akohame because then we should unite or we should prosper together. Uh, that's definitely, definitely, just generally, literally mean we would be good together. We should, Akohame, that we should really be a force to reckon with when we are we will be where we be, it will go where with us when we where there's togetherness where there's unity so i hope that makes sense there then um the another one is i want to say which means you can't be more you can't be wiser than god or you can't be more sensible than god then we have the ehizoje uh, another here it means god uh chooses the king but it's, it's, it does the literary meaning, but when a child is born into a family, it's a kind of seen as a life, sign of kinship into the family. So this is mostly a male name, obviously. The next uh, list of names, one of them is Imejihe. It, it, Imejihe literally means I'm not different. I'm one of you. Um, another one is I'm in my home or I'm in my space. This is generally when probably they say this put or somebody is picking on you or, <clears throat> or you feel you are being excluded or something. So around this, I must say some, most of these things, people don't really give them anymore. Yeah, because we're not really that living together in community as they used to when some of these names used to really really be very relevant so like uwa menje so yeah it means i'm in my house or i'm in my own space uh or more fuma means child is the deliverer or the red redeemer uh, uh, he means i thank god or i thank my guardian angel or guardian spirit that's right uh, he is actually like a guardian angel so the best way to interpret uh, he is guardian angel so um so uh, some people will now say these days might say oh, say when me um, is god i'm um, thanking um yeah i say thank thank you god or something like that i'm giving glory to god yeah uh Zobe means I, I didn't speak evil so this is also around this food i'm sorry what's on this name tends to be around kind of this food meaning uh uh I have warrior. That's another name that's very relevant these days. I think I have warrior or whatever. It's very relevant in Isha that uh, you don't um, reject your place and your town. So, Agmohese. Um, Agmohese means it's actually people who are the unseen forces or who, who can cause you cause evil. Um, Awuli means I have, I have, the verdict is in my favor. This is usually when there was a dispute between people and Awuli men would be given. Um, enaihoro, enaihoro or enaihoro means um, these are the desired ones. Yeah. And then Ehizokhali, Ehizokhali means um, it is God who makes one great. So, 
and uh, the SLC, SLC is another very popular one now. I think it's very pop. It's mostly given to girls. I haven't really seen SLC. The boy that is called SLC. If if you have, please say it in the comment section. And this is one of my niece's name. It's one of Jane's daughter's name, and it's another of my niece's name as well. That is in Nigeria. My one of my brother's uh, daughter. So I actually have two nieces called this name SLC. It's a very uh, cute and easy name. So most people that are called SLC, you hear them call them SC. So yeah, they say the first two, three letters. And another name here is Ose uh, Dobo. It means God doesn't make mistake. Uh, God doesn't make mistakes. Omo Jose. Omo Jose. It means God is, um, no, sorry, Chai is the beauty. So you can see another way we are, we Africans, the way we kind of glorify having children that like Omo is your beauty. Omo, you know, child is your beauty, you know. Um, so he always put a lot of women under, under a lot of pressure. So when you don't have a child, so it's almost as if every other thing is nothing. It's not really valuable you know so but i think it's something we really need to start working on right one of the names on the list is odianose which means is well um this is another response you could also give when somebody say body are here some people will also say odianose so and also uh, even offure that is given as a which is used as a response to body a year it can also be given as a name which which means whenever uh, of fure when you want to you know there's a way you stress it when you are responding for, as a greeting body a year of fure but when you give it as a name it's actually a unisex name is of fure so it means it's well and this is actually um the name of my youngest son shout out to you f -way. Uh, my youngest son, Ofure. So Ofure is his Esa name. Why Ofure is the Esa name? Because my husband is from Esa uh, Then my daughter's name, Esa name is Osehi. It's another popular name as well. Which, as we now know, Ehi, as I've begin, I've learned to decode it now. Ehi actually means like your guardian angel. So it's it's a very popular, cute. A Sunday as well, so it's Osehi. Uh, then my other son's uh, name is Oseje, which means God sent. So there are a lot of all these cute, very easy to say a son name, which are very common for people of our generation. There is always most of the names that I was saying before on this list were mostly give the names that were given by our parents or their uh, grandparents. This was mostly common names. The other names I was saying with was really like Useva Jajeme and all the rest of them were mostly given, um, I mean, not Useva Jajeme, you know, the other ones around this put that didn't really put God into it. They were given when people used to live in communal family homes, maybe siblings, grandparents, you know what I mean, those, in our time when we were grown up as children. But now, like I said, most people live in diaspora or live in one city or the other in Nigeria, or wherever they find themselves trying to sort out their lives. So who have time to be giving those disputes related names anymore? You know, everyone is just trying to mind their business. So mostly is this name things like Obose, Esiose, um, Efose, Efese. You know, Seva Jajeme, you know, uh, or um, Osegali. So, any of you that don't know, Osegali is actually my maiden name. So, this is another very cute Esa name. It actually means um, God shares. That's a version of it, that Osegali. So, it means God shares things among his children. Then, another way of saying it is that. God says, so it means 
God actually states or God ordains or God destines it. So it's a very meaningful Esa name that I've actually seen some people giving as a first name. Another popular Esa name is Ehime, which is very given as a first name. That's one of my very close uh, friend's son's name. Things like Eromosele. It means God has answered my prayers. So there's a lot of very cute Esa names that are actually not on that list. So I just want to try and use this opportunity to bring it in here. Then uh, there's another name on the list that is Omo Zehio. This is another Omo as well, which is a child is my pride. I know I've always said that the way we kind of overemphasize having children, this also means Omo Zehio means the ch child is my pride. Although it's one of those things, I think it's actually a very cute name to be honest. Oh, Moze Hill. I think I quite like that name. But I must say that the way so much emphasis is placed on having children and it makes it as if if you don't have a child, it's as if you haven't arrived. You know, you know, every other thing is, is, is not important. I just think it's something we really have to start shifting our mentality from. Uh, there are lots of other ways you can actually have children without not really having your biological child. It's an area we need to start educating ourselves. I know this is not the place for it, but I just have to throw it in there, uh, you know. So um, that's one. Then um, another name here, which I think is very, very cute name, which I like a lot, is Ekele Oseye or Ekele Oseya. Ekele Ose, that means beauty. Ekele Ose, yeah. Or, ek, or some other, I'm from Ekboma, so we will say Ekele Ose, Ose, yeah. Then like Iwa and some other part of Esan, we say Ekele Ose, ye. It means your beauty is within. So um, how did they interpret it there? Yeah, beauty is in the heart. So, but I would say, I would rather say beauty within. So, it means your inner beauty is the, is most important. So, I really think it's important. This is a common saying, really, even the biblical saying that the inner beauty is more important than the outer beauty. I'm not by all means saying, okay, if you have outer beauty, you we shouldn't celebrate you. But if your outer beauty doesn't match your inner beauty, it can be very off-putting, to be honest. So I think your outer beauty might attract somebody, but I think it's the inner beauty that will keep the friendship or the relationship or even being an acquaintance, be it a colleague. So I think this is a very good design name. Yeah, I really like that. Ekele Oseye. Ekele Oseya. Oh my goodness. This is so nice. I really like this name. Um, yeah, maybe when I have a granddaughter, maybe I'll give this name <laughs> or a grandson i don't know if it's a unisex name i'm going to have to explore the please let me know in the comment section if ekele oseya ekele oseya ekele oseye if it's a unisex name or if you like it as much as i do <laughs> uh, then another the next name on this list is Oh my goodness, that's another popular Esan name. It's mostly this name, it's mostly a surname. Probably obviously it was given as a first name before it became a surname, but uh, it's one of my sister's married name. Pat, hi Pat, and um, Pat Irehobude, and hi Barista Irehobude, my brother in law, and Efwa, their son, and all the siblings, all of you that have been supporting me on my videos. You better leave a comment down there to let me know I've mentioned your name, your surname. Uh, yeah. There are another, another name on this list. Um, while I'm actually on the family names, actually. Um, my, yeah, I've given my other son's name. Who, is there any family member I haven't given? Yeah, I've given you a few of my nieces and nephews' surname. So if I didn't give your ESA name or your child's ESA name, it's possible because I don't know it. <laughs> Any of you 
to show that you are supporting my video, all my friends and families that are ESA. Make sure you leave either your ESA name or your, uh, yeah, either your ESA name or your child's ESA name. If you know the meaning, put it there. So put it in the comment section. This will let me let, help me to know those of you who are for supporting this channel. Yeah. And um, also, I will say, let me just finish this quickly before I will, I'm actually just say it now. Those of you that have let me comment that your your partners, uh, your partners are, are from ESA and you are learning this language, obviously you will not have an ESA name except your partner have given you a pet name or giving you an ESA name. But if they haven't, ask them their ESA name and if they have no the meaning. And please leave it in the comment section for me. So if they don't have an ESA name, but if they, if they have an ESA they don't know the meaning, still put it there, yeah? Yes, so yeah, that, let's keep the conversation going because there are so many interesting ESA names there, out there, that we all need to be aware of. Especially all these new ones, Ose Ahu, Ose Ga, you know, there are so many of them that are very quick and easy to, to pronounce and the names are very sweet and simple, yeah? Then uh, we have one here, Aigboje. Aigboje is kind of be... It is mostly surname. When I was growing up, I mostly saw it as a surname. Agboje means you cannot fight or beat the king. And you know that in this song, our OJs, uh, our kings, OJ, means Onoje. The full name, the full title of our kings uh, is called Onoje. So the short form here in the name is called Agboje. OJ also means a king. So, um... Is 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 you know in Essen we have every town every major town or or kingdom if you can if I can name, call it that way like Oma have Onoje Iwa have their Onoje Uromi have Uromi Ubiaja Ubegun uh, uh, Igwebe you know all the big towns and kingdoms within the Essen have their Onoje they are very well respected so you can't go and be fluffing around. With a king, obviously. So yeah, you know what it means here. Yeah. Uh, then the final name I have on my list today, I have to end it there. You know, this there are so many names, so we have to keep this conversation going. We might have to to do a, a second part, a part two of this Esa names, but let's just end this here for now. Another name, the final one I'm going to name today on Jane's list is Inoboare, which means I came. From a great home. When we were growing up, I think the good old days, I know people always say the good old days, it's not the way Nigeria is these days that uh, everybody kind of worship money. People don't, I don't even know how to describe it these days. Yeah, the good old days, it was really very important that your family name, because if you go out there, you are being silly or you are being disrespectful or you have bad behavior uh, people will always look at you as if you didn't come from a good home so your family and your parents were very very keen on you respecting your family name when you're at the beat in school be it in the market be in the street as well as a child you can't just be out there in the street just misbehaving because one auntie and one uncle will come and tell your parents at home, I saw also so person in the street, they're fighting or doing some silly stuff. So, oa and home you come from was very important. So, um, you know, um, you know, oare. it's a very, very correct surname. Yeah, good one. So, it's a good one to end on. So, anyway, like I said, um, I really have to end this video here now. Yeah, because it's getting too long and so as usual i know this wasn't really a proper class today so um i would like to tell all of you that this is a book of a sound name so there are so many ways that you can get a sound names so um i've got this book over 10 years ago when i visited home and i saw it in a bookshop outside and it was even a church bookshop it was outside the catholic church you know after you finish service and you go out there just looking at things around that it was part of 
a church bookshop i got it and i just saw it, it just um, was very good look very very attractive to it. i've always wanted to promote a sign name as you can see so yeah uh, actually i have to say this here this was one of the reasons why this video was taking me so long to make because that book has so many lovely names so my goal was to have at least two names per half each alphabet uh, letters of the ASAP alphabet, which was supposed to be 20, uh, at least I wanted to have at least one name each, or where possible two against each half letter of the alphabet. So that was why it was taking me so long to try and prepare the lesson and pick all of that. Each time I wanted to do it, I was always, I didn't have enough time to finish it off, all of. So a couple of days ago, then Jay just dropped this list of names on the comment section. In the last video, I said, oh my goodness, this has solved the problem for me. Why don't I just do this for now and probably that project can still be in the burner the back burner and i do that whenever i think i have the time to do it so please sorry i'm talking too much and uh, you know it's names when you're talking about names it's some names for that matter so uh, you just can't do it you know justice if you don't really talk about the names and the the reasons behind it the meanings behind the names so um i'm going to have to stop it here and please, please, please leave your names and favorite names in the comment section. If you don't, don't blame me for not mentioning your names. And uh, yeah, and on that note, class, I will have to end it here. And please, as usual, uh, comment, um, subscribe if you haven't. I think this is a good time to subscribe. You will stay, you will agree with me. Um, then leave me a comment. Put your notification bell on. You are going to be doing something very interesting next week. I haven't quite decided what it is yet, but I know I have a lot of things, very interesting things on the pipeline that I'm going to do. But if you know you want something else you want us to do in this class, just put it in there. Yeah. Uh, then um, share. Many of you have been sharing these videos. Um, I don't know what to say anymore. I just to say thanks to all of you. Wabulu. By the way, Wabulu, Wabulu class. And those of you who have not been coming to class, like for instance, somebody did say they wanted this ASA name. That's why I'm doing it. And some people send me personal messages of the things they're interested in. Some leave it in the comment section. Someone in the past, someone, and I, I wanted he said she wanted words and uh, sentences. I wanted he's another very interesting ASA name as well. As he's there again, remember? It means you can't be more sensible than your guardian angel we have a certain that the best interpretation for ehi is your guardian angel so yes so yeah i want to hear i miss you in class i haven't seen your comment for a long time you might be watching i don't have time to comment so please i'm mentioning your name everybody i've mentioned your names i want you to comment on the session to let me know you've heard your names and those who i haven't mentioned your names your essa names let me know, especially my family, uh, my families, uh, members of my family and my friends. Yeah. On that note, class. Wa bulu. Wa kimbwe. Wa kimbwe, class. Wa kimbwe. Wa kimbwe.